Well, a local artist is using his difficult experiences and turning them into beautiful pieces of artwork. Molly Real is getting the inside scoop on an upcoming show for viewers to experience. Hi, Molly. Yeah, that's right. I mean, talk about beautiful, right? We often hear art as an expression of oneself, and that is especially true for this rising star in the Sacramento art scene, Jermaine Tilson. He goes by Jay Crux as his artist name, and his paintings are as we said, Jermaine, so, so beautiful, but it does come, it is a reflection of a past that you have described as difficult growing up. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, you know, honestly, it was like really difficult growing up in like the system, but like I kind of try to use that experience to make a positive outlook, outlook in my life, you know, like, so art is really just that definition of everything that I went through, you know? Yeah, so. you were in the foster care system until you were about 24? Yeah, Yeah. about 24. And so you've, you've been creating art since you were just a little boy, about six years old, uh, and then you really started using it through as therapy. Tell us about how you started professionally using art. Um, professionally, I feel like I started, I think I started when I realized like I was going to school for it for a little bit and I realized that like I, I could do something out of it, you know, and, and I had a lot of mentors around me, people that told me this, these are the steps that you need to do to be professional. So I kind of took the advice that they gave me to put that into a, a career. Yeah. You know? And at the same time, you're completely self-taught. Yeah. <laughs> self-taught. Now with each painting, you know, there's so much to look at, so much to interpret and take away from it, but you do kind of have a theme going with with all of your pieces yeah so the theme for this particular show uh it's called the path so everything in these pieces are their experiences and, and situations and hardships that i went through growing up in the system or just every day-to-day -day things so there's a story in it and it, the story is basically like this is the path this is the this is the process this is what happened through this you know so through the colors and, and the figures, that's that's what represents yeah. the path. Now you had two over here that you especially wanted to show us and talk about. By the way, this is his lovely partner and his daughter sleeping there, so adorable. <laughs> so tell us about this one. Um, this one kind of resembles the kind of keep keep rocking. You know, you can kind of mm -hmm. see the the rock star vibes type thing. You know, and I feel like this is a piece that really like kind of kept me up, up afloat, you know, when there was a lot going on. So this piece really represents to kind of just keep being solid because, you know, things can get hard, but you have to rock rock on, you know, keep keep going. You know? yeah. So that's really what it is. I love it. Well, if you want to see Jermaine's art in real life, we're at the Triple Exposure Gallery or Tex Gallery. It's on Franklin Boulevard. You have your opening night, second Saturday, May 14th, and then the weekend after, you'll be showing uh, the 21st and 22nd. What's it going to mean to you to be able to have people filling the, this room, seeing this path of yours? Uh, I think it's gonna mean that like, you know, understood a little bit, you know, cause I feel like, you know, as an artist and even just as growing up in my situation, like, I feel like I've been misunderstood or not under, you know, not, no one really understood. So I think this show is gonna represent that, getting to know who I am and the process, what I went through growing up and what's going on now. Jermaine, that's beautiful, just like your art. And be sure to follow him on Instagram. Head to his website so you can follow along on all the upcoming shows he has in store. Thank you. And Rock on, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Molly.